exciting to see. This fight is sponsored by DFWE for all your screen printing needs. You came from Kansas, man. Huh? Yeah, so uh, I started training in Wichita, Kansas. That's where I started my amateur career. That's where I started my professional career as well. But then as I evolved, I knew how to take it to the next level. And so I came down to Texas and, uh, you know, I started training at Fortis MMA, the best gym in the world right now. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm where I need to be. And uh, my next fight's going to be for the Contender Series. Yeah. gentlemen welcome to billy bob's texas as we begin our first fight on the undercard this fight is brought to you by dfw inc and is scheduled for three rounds in the xko welterweight division and now introducing first fighting out of the next bank blue corner he is trained in mma kickboxing making his amateur debut. He stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in 183 pounds, fighting out of Dallas, Texas, Antonio Lopez. And now across the cage, his opponent, fighting out of the Jim Ross red corner, a freestyle fighter, holding an amateur record, one victory, no defeats. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in 184 pounds, fighting out of Cuba by way of Arlington, Texas, the phenomenon Voika, Daniel De La Cruz. Your three, Birchie Still Wagner. Hey, gentlemen, come right here, please. Okay, gentlemen, went over all the rules in the back. Expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times and protect yourself at all times. Let's touch gloves. Back to our corner and we'll come out on me. Antonio Lopez is stone cold. Say he looks like a grappler. Big slam. Took his back, locked it up, suplexed him. Side control right now. De La Cruz out of Cuba. 
Looks like a beast wrestler with that suplex. He's going right to work on the body. Neon Belly looking to pass. Goes right to mount. Smooth Very nice. transition. Very nice. Now, as amateurs, they're not allowed to elbow here. So he needs to create some space and strike. Lopez needs to shrimp and turn towards him right here. Yeah, Lopez does a back. good job getting half guard back. But De La Cruz is going to work on that body. Those shots will add up. Lopez needs to look for something here. He needs to try to get up or make something happen here. Yeah, De La Cruz doing a good job. He's working on a uh, Americana right here. Ooh, that's deep. Straight arm bar. Nice escape there. Yeah, Lopez needs to use that underhook to try and get full guard. There he goes. He's working, working. There he goes, full guard. Lopez just holding on right here, controlling his posture. Looks like he's setting up a triangle. Not a lot of time to work. Yeah, amateur rounds are only three minutes long. Yeah, it's like as soon as you get settled into the round, it, it's, it's over. over. Yep. <laughs> De La Cruz pretty much controlled this whole round so far. I think the first round will go to him. Yeah, without a doubt. You never know with these Texas judges, though. This is your first time in, in Texas, so yeah, you'll, see, you'll see what I'm talking about. First round in the books. A lot of wrestling. You know, not too bad for two amateur guys. Showed a lot of pretty good skill there. Yeah, especially that wrestling skill by De La Cruz. Lopez needs to use his footwork and use his striking, try and stay on the outside. Here's that suplex on the replay. Oh, Bam! Man. He went for one handed it. slam right there. We'll see if Lopez can make something happen here. He didn't take too much damage, but he's definitely down one round, in my opinion. Round two underway. In front of Good us, exchange. it's swinging. Good exchange. There we go. Good feints there. You gotta set up these strikes. There comes another body lock here. Let's see if we can do the takedown or defend it here. Taking the back. And we're back on the mat. Now you see Lopez shrimping, working his way up the cage. He just needs to wall walk and get all the way up. Daniel Cruz wisely pulls him off of the cage.
Couple strikes from the bottom, but doesn't do too much. Derek Cruz past the half guard. Pressure here. Looks like he can't get up. Yeah, he's just suffocating him on the ground right now. He's looking for openings, but he doesn't want to give him much space here. About 30 seconds out now. Looks more of the same from the first round here. He full mount him. Full mount. We're going to posture up and go to work here at the end of the round. Yeah, I'd like to see him kind of raise up right now and just throw some strikes to kind of cap off this round. Dominant, dominant second round. Another round in the books for De La Cruz. Lopez has to make something happen here. He's going to have to come out swinging. He, I think he pretty much has to knock him out or submit him to win to win this fight. Yeah, he needs to finish. He needs to come out with some urgency. You can't just get content in those positions on your back. Yeah. Uh, he's not taking too much damage, but um, you know, if he if he wants to take this fight back, he's going to have to go out there and uh, really put it on uh, De La Cruz here. go third and final round oh big right hand and he goes right to the wrestling again that's his bread and butter yeah. now's the time where de la cruz needs to get to work he needs to pass he needs to go trying to solidify this fight. Yeah. Uh, these guys are amateurs, so now's the time to, to really, you know, take chances and uh, and, and learn go in there. Go for the finish here. Yeah, go for the finish. Don't, don't just try to ride it out. And Lopez just content to lay on his back. I mean, he, there, no sense of urgency. Again, at full now. Lopez is pretty much just holding him down right now, locking his head up and arm right there. He needs to push on the hips, escape, get back up to his feet. That's the only way he's going to win here. Yeah, these are really positions where you should experience plenty of in the gym before you get to this arena. I mean, he should know how to escape from this position.
still working the body. Yeah, holding on to his head here. It, I mean, it's keeping him from posturing up, but it doesn't look like he's trying to posture there up. There we go. Here we come some strikes here. Ten seconds left. Let's see if they can make something happen here. Pretty dominant performance there by De La Cruz. Very good grappling, very good control. Unfortunately, he didn't get to land too many good strikes, but uh, his wrestling, pretty good wrestling there, man. Good work. You know, De La Cruz hung in there. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, Lopez he... hung in there, you know, uh, yeah. but uh, he didn't take too much damage, but I think he's going to learn a lot from this fight looking back that, you know, he just needs to uh, work on getting it off his back. Yeah, he needs to work on getting off yeah, the half guard, the mount position, uh, full guard, just standing up from your back or being active from that position, uh, scooting your hips out and shooting uh, submission attempts from the guard. Can't just be content to lay there. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of fighting action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges score the bout 30 27, 30 27, and 30 26, declaring a winner by unanimous decision, the phenomenon Voika Daniel De La Cruz. No question about that one. Yeah, no question. Like I said, good wrestling. Um, you know, they're amateurs, they're still growing. He'll come back, they'll both come back, and they'll both be better. Backflip, here we go. He's fired up. I think he's ready for another fight, Ocho. Right. <laughs>